One of the most important topics, I think, for families, not just when they're beginning the adoption and foster care journey, but each and every step along the way, is to focus in on the issues of motivations and expectations. Motivations uh, are a really tricky thing because I think we have to acknowledge first and foremost that none of us have pure motivations and all of us have mixed motivations in terms of adoption. But I've begun to think recently how important it is for us to continually focus on our motivations, not just for why we adopted, but for why we're doing certain things along the journey the way we're doing them. One of the things that we ask parents to think about is this question. We want parents to think about answering the question, for their child, why did you adopt me? I think if we ask ourselves that question and try to answer it in a way as if we were answering it for our child, because the reality is one day we will be answering that question, not only for our child, but to our child. We know that most of our kids are going to want to know the answer to that question. And yet we know that there's no simple, single answer to that question. Maybe your background is infertility. Maybe your background is such that uh, you have a really strong sense, a God-given sense of wanting to right some of the wrongs of this world. Maybe it is that God clearly called you not only to adoption, but to this specific child. Maybe it is that you had love in your heart to give and, and there was a child, or maybe more than one child, who needed that love. Maybe it is that you wanted to add to your family, or maybe it's all of those things and many, many more. We need to be asking ourselves, why are we in this journey? Why are we taking these steps the way we're taking these steps in this journey? And I think it's important that we continue to do that each and every step along the way and ask God to examine our hearts, to, to, to reveal to us what He finds in our hearts so that we can, as best as humanly possible, empowered by His Spirit, continue to, to, to look at our own motivations and ask Him to give us the right motives and a clean heart and a pure heart as we move forward to love our children the way they need to be.